Hello and welcome to Wandering Wanda. We are headed towards, I'm going to pronounce this wrong, Days Lake. And we are on the Cassier Highway. It's actually a wonder. I'm having a great time right now. This is one of the old highways in Alaska. So we're having an Alaskan experience as far as the highway goes. Isn't this a beautiful lake? Look at the, the trees. They're reflecting off the water. It's absolutely beautiful. Puffy white clouds. It's going to be a great day. We are here at Days Lake. This is the only gas station here, so we filled up. And then we went to the local market. They have a deli bistro takeout. I got a mushroom burger with fries, and Walter got a cheeseburger with fries to go. And I bought some lettuce, onions, green onions, chips. And we'll have lunch after we set up at the RV site. As far as I know, they said it was a pull through. We don't have to disconnect. We're only here for one night. And then we're on our way to Stewart. I don't know what it's, what's at Stewart. We're there for three nights. So, part of the, the tour group. I'm enjoying this. Cassiard Highway, it's great. It's mostly paved, there's no dirt. It narrows down a little bit. But it's kind of like a residential road. There's no, it's no big deal. Truck truck in Wanda is really dirty. Right. So we'll give you an impression of what this RV park is. Somewhere around here, somewhere, I don't know. Okay, Walter's getting cash at the ATM. We're out of the plastic money that Canada uses. We are at Disease Lake. No. <laughs> Dees? Dees Lake RV Park. And we have the side. I don't know where we are. We have the side angle where essentially it's all forest. There's a little house over there. I think maybe the... I don't know what it is. <clears throat> anyway, we have 30 amps, good water pressure, and sewer. So that's nice. We're only here for one evening. Again, we're at the end. Very nice. Look at this. I love... I love our end unit really nice we got we have this forest forest view outside of our window <clears throat> almost all of us is not unhitching it's wide enough and look at all the space between the rings I like this park so far this park is a yes make sure you wear your DEET there are there are a couple of mosquitoes flying around and the fire weed that was all red and pretty in the highway is now pollinating and there's pollen all over the place just flying up in the air so we're going to walk around see what i can see or don't see see isn't this lovely look how look how far apart this is you can park another rig here beautiful <clears throat> okay, some of them are kind of cramped in. There's John using the modern invention of a telephone <laughs> with a cord. With a credit card. <laughs> if you need quarters for it, I have some. It won't take it. Credit card. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they don't have sewer over here. Oh, no sewer over here. Is this the knitting guild? <laughs> oh, do you need help reading it? Still nicely spaced out. 
The rigs here in the middle row do not have sewer. The ones at the ends do. We're at this end and that end. Looks like has sewer. So it's nice that it is a pull through, but half of us has sewer, the other half do not. Oh well. We have sewer, that's all I care about. Oh, and if you miss this turn, it's a really tight turn. If you don't know that where it is, you can miss it. I was driving like five miles an hour down this road. If you miss, if you miss this little itty bitty sign over here, this is from the highway. Cassie, your highway. I'm just standing in the middle of the highway. <laughs> it's not a bad road. It's, it's, it's all paved. So I thought I had a pine forest view from my back window. <laughs> you still got the pines there too. <laughs> Okay, one, two, I have three pine trees still. <laughs> Love the spaces in between. And would we stay here again? The answer would be yes. I'd stay here even longer than one night. But you would need to bring food. There is a grocery store slash gas station slash to go deli down the street half a mile down. But that's about it. There's no restaurants in this area. But we're here only for one night, so it's good. We're good. Again, I would stay here for more than one night. <laughs> you, like your, you like your meat well done, or you like it over easy? Well, hot dogs. <laughs> so, Terminator's there and turn left out of RB Park on the Cassier Highway. The yeah. are here. You want your book? No. Good. Okay, when they say sharp turns and, you know, hairpin, hairpin turn, turns, a lot of times they are. Uh, there are uh, there are some of the, those on this trip. There's some long downgrades, cross a bridge, and then a <sighs> long upgrade. Uh, there's... Uh, so pay attention to those road hazards. If I recall, they are steep up and down. And just, you know, take it easy. 148, Bell 2 Lodge, food and fuel. Uh, for those that need to stop. I thought there was another one earlier. 48 works. And then, uh, basically it's just, you know, you're on this Cassier Highway and that's what you stay on. Okay, and the thing I want to point out at 205, <coughs> you continue straight towards Stuart Hyder on 37A West. You are on 37 here. Okay, the road, it, it sounds funny because the main road, you would think, goes straight and you would go off. But what happens is you come up and it's kind of a Y and you go straight and 37 angles to your left. I recall there's a big uh, service station kind of down about 100 feet below road level kind of there. But you go up 37A and there's hanging glacier on your left and then as you continue on 37A you see Bear River Glacier uh, which you come around the corner, you come into it, you see it ahead, and then you come around the corner, you follow the river from the glacier down. Uh, great views of the glacier right at eye level. Good pullouts there. Then you drop down into Stewart Hyder. Back actually Stewart. If you look at your map, <coughs> you come in, you're following this river, and then you 
cross the river and uh, you're in a flat area, as soon as you cross that river, you can see on the far side of the river, you can see the RV park back in the trees. But as soon as you cross that river, that first left, Davis Street, you want to turn left there, and then immediately you'll see the two entrances, and there's a big staging area, but hopefully we'll be out there and direct you to where to go. What entrance this would part, you like us to use? Uh, probably the first one, but in this park, the uh, park owner assigns the sites. <coughs> so, when I get there, we'll find out and we'll get people into the sites there they need to go to. Full hookups. When you said he assigned the sites, is he going to be there for each individual one and say, you park here, you park no, here? No, he'll probably say, here are the sites. Okay. And so we'll probably... If I can, I'll get out to the street and direct you from there. Maybe I'll be out there. Did you see me today? Yes. Yeah. 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 You were hidden today. I was hidden. No. no yes. You were great help. You were having everything right there on the street. Yes. We were also right going five miles an hour. And Humpty Dumpty was in a chair next to it. 30 amps. 30 amps. <laughs> Wi Fi and yourself. Should work and there's cable TV. Uh, 